Yo, the last one here, welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to talk about Trash 2 because it is trashed basically, but there is this awesome plugin I want to talk about today through this little thing I made. always you can grab this whole project for my patreon below and don't forget to check my academy for awesome start to finish courses but right now let's jump into it okay so here is the groove once again So tantrum can be a great alternative and i love this plugin because it's so simple it looks great and works great. So we have an XY pad, on the X you have the drive amount and on the Y you have the phase distortion amount and you can create such great sound. You have a crossover separating the frequency spectrum into low and high band. You can split between the high and the low and here is a crossover cutoff. With the tone you apply a little EQ you know, to change the sound a little. You can make stereo distortions, output gain, output mix. And this is all, but it sounds so great. Oh, and I've of course forgot about the distortion type. So when I heard the news about Trash 2, I instantly went to Tantrum and tried to, you know, use it a little more because previously I just used Trash 2. By the way, you can still use Trash 2 if you bought it, but from this point, you won't be able to buy it. This is the noisier masterclass I was talking about. So this is how I made the main bass here. Sounds so great, crunchy, but also squeaky. And I love this sound. Also this one. I know what I did is I just duplicated these tracks that I worked on and changed the preset for the sound. And I came up with this very, I, I would say it's a little dumb loop, but maybe you guys will love it. Anyway, so let me show you what I did. So I made a preset. It's quite simple. I will show you a little later. And I used two tantrum preset, tantrum preset, you know, one for the low band, it's tape saturation for the low band and another one for the high band and it's a fallback distortion type and this way I was able to make a really tight low end with some bright high end. So without them this is how the main bass sounds. It's good but nothing serious. So I use the bandpass feeder on this layout where I use PWM weird frequency modulated by a saw, basically, on octave 3 with this LFO shape. And I have some effects here. I'm not using the, the chorus either. I use LFO 2 for the FM and one LFO for different effects because this is a quite long sound. Because I wanted to make a little more complex sound or a more complex rhythm for it. So as you can see, the preset is not very complicated, but with two instances of tantrums, you can make it really, really fat. Also with some EQing and I use a separate sub. Let me show it to you without the EQ and the extra sub. So it's quite dangerous. So I had to tame it a little, especially in the mid frequencies. I didn't want to get too much distortion for it. So the boomy frequencies are gone. And after the distortion, I had to make some serious, serious EQing. Cutting the mids and the mid lows. And as I told you before, I duplicated this and loaded up several different presets. I also made some really nice background effects. Like always, you can grab this whole project from my Patreon below and check my academy for awesome South Finish courses. I was Larson. See you guys next time. Peace.